brothers and sisters in the Dhamma, happy visa, and may you all be well and happy. This day, 2,559 years ago, in the year 623 BC, on a visa full moon day, the future Buddha to be was born at Lumbini as Prince Siddhartha. Receiving an excellent education, he married and had a son. In his 29th year, realizing the fleeting and unsatisfactory nature of life, he resolved to leave his palace in search of peace and truth. His departure from home was an unprecedented case of historic renunciation, born out of compassion for the suffering of all beings in samsara. Passing through a long and arduous course of mental training, he made a superhuman struggle for six strenuous years. One glorious day, Seated under the Bodhi tree at Bodhagaya, he vowed not to stir from his seat until he attained supreme Buddhahood. On a happy Visa full moon day, six years after his great renunciation, he obtained perfect enlightenment. He was 35 years old. For 45 years, the Buddha expounded the Dharma. He taught the Four Noble Truths. The Noble Truth of Dukkha or Unsatisfactoriness. The Cause of Dukkha. The Cessation of Dukkha. The Noble Eightfold Path leading to the Cessation of Dukkha. With compassion and wisdom, the Buddha diligently worked for the good and happiness of mankind until his dying moment. At his final hour of death, he calmly addressed his disciples, Ripe is my age, short is my life, leaving you I shall go. I have made myself my refuge. Be diligent, mindful, and extremely virtuous. With thoughts collected, guard your mind. In this doctrine and discipline, by living strenuously, you will escape the cycle of rebirth and put an end to suffering. Think not that you have no teacher after my death. Regard the Dhamma and Vinaya I have taught you as your teacher. He who practices my teaching best serves me most. He who sees the Dhamma sees me. Transient are all component things. Strive on with diligence. Thus, having successfully completed this noble mission, in his 80th year, at Kusinara, the Supreme Buddha, our great teacher, passed into Parinibbana. It was on a full moon day, 2,559 years ago. Brothers and sisters in the Dhamma, on this Visak day, which commemorates the birth of Siddhartha Gautama, his enlightenment and his passing away into Parinibbana. Let us reflect on our Dhamma practice as good Buddhists. In Anguttara Nikaya, the Buddha said, We are all subject to aging. We are all subject to sickness. We are all subject to death. There will be change and separation. 
from all that we hold dear and near to us. We are the owners of our karma or actions, heir of our actions. We are born of our actions. We are related to our actions and we have our actions as refuge. Whatever we do, good or evil, of that we will be the heir. Reflecting on the above five things, brothers and sisters, in the Dhamma, let us resolve to practice as good Buddhists by taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha, learning and understanding the Dhamma, practicing the Dhamma with great determination and diligence, cultivating loving kindness and harmony, within ourselves and with all beings, developing and purifying our mind so that insight and wisdom can arise, observing the five precepts or training rules of no killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct, no lying, no intoxicants. When we as good Buddhists practice the Dharma well, we'll grow in our compassion and wisdom. We will then have peace, harmony and understanding within ourselves and with all other people. Brothers and sisters in the Dharma, a very happy Visa 2015. May you all be well and peaceful.